Hello, today we're going to learn how to use VLOOKUP Then along the way, we'll also learn how to return a text value if an argument is true and how to create a drop-down list Now, I have here an example of an inventory which has a part number, description, the vendor contact number, then location, permanent, how it's being stored then uh, in addition to that if we're going to freeze a column or a row we simply have to uh, for example if we're going to freeze the part number here so that's what is being uh, set here we're going to click the column next to the column that we want to freeze go to view for this this time it, that is being free so let's let's unfreeze it so click on freeze and when we scroll to the right the part number would stay there or it would lock in its place now if we're going to lock the column headers here we're going to click on this row and then freeze first then click on freeze when we scroll down the headers would be locked in its place if we want to uh, freeze both the column and row we're going to select a cell that is below the header and uh, right next to the column that we want to freeze so for example in this case here and then uh, and freeze first then freeze if we're going to go to the right the column the, the first column freezes in its place and if we go it will go down the header freezes in its place okay so uh, I have prepared an inventory I uh, know spare parts monitoring report then if we're going to enter a a part number here which is on this list it would return all these values here to the boxes here so first we're going to use VLOOKUP now the first thing we're going to do is to uh, for this for the description we're going to to enter the VLOOKUP formula uh, VLOOKUP then parenthesis the first thing that lookup would want to look is the the value in reference to the table here in the inventory sheet so if we want to return a value here under the under description from the inventory sheet uh, we'd want to refer it to what part number would it be looking up so we'll click on the part number here and uh, right now it is empty then after that hit comma so we'll go to the next option table array so we look up would be like looking for the table array so we go to the inventory sheet and then select the range of the table that you created for the inventory sheets then hit comma so we'll go back here uh, take note that the inventory report which is this this page is uh, this sheet is uh, selected so we'll just backspace it then uh, it would be asking for the column index number so we we'll go back the description here is under column 2 the first column the second column so we'll go back to inventory report hit 2 that is for the second column and then comma then we have the option here true or false uh, true is approximate match uh, if it is close to the exact value then it will return the data uh, along that uh, table but if we want to find the exact match we'll do type false then close the parentheses then enter so this is NA because we don't enter a, a part number yet so if we're going to enter a part number let's say 5001 so it will return the description of the uh, of the part number 5001 so it uh, returns the circuit breaker 20 ampere 3 phase 7 duty so that's why it's being returned here now for example if we're going to continue for the rest of the of the cells here so for the vendor same again we look up 
then the lookup value would still be this part number here then comma then we look for the table array which is this one then comma then that would be the third column three then false then enter so the vendor is being returned here which is itachi now if we're going to change the part number let's say 5002 enter and it will also return the values along the 5002 part number so we'll just continue uh, the vendor contact person so there are two here we have the lookup then still the same part number the door sheet then table then we go back to the report then again again then the value inventory sheet comma go back to the report then two three four column four then false enter the contact person is Paul and for its contact number Column 5, then pause, enter, the contact number is 222, then the location, again, look up, then the value, comma, then table. Spare lookup value comma then comma. For this, this under column seven, false, enter. There are two available spares. Then the status, same, we look up value, comma, and the table, comma. Status would be nine. That would be under ten. Column ten. So place this one with ten. And status is zero. Now if we're going to replace this one by another value, let's say five zero zero three. Enter. The C would be changed. Five zero zero four. Enter. Okay. Now 
everything will be changed according to what is inside the inventory sheet which we refer from so it returns all the data here with respect to the part number here now uh, what if we want to uh, automatically put a status here whether critical or not so the critical value here means that if the the available value is uh, under the critical value will return a critical status here so for that we'll use the the if statement so you type if then logical test value that would be uh, if this critical value is greater than the available value then comma will return open close parenthesis the critical value then comma then another open close, open close parenthesis ok so for this argument uh, we will return critical if the value here is greater than the value here if the value here is less than the value here that would be with with print ok so print ok I print, I enter press enter then the the value is critical because the value here the critical value is greater than the variable value so i'm going to follow everything let's say we want to change uh, this value here to let's say nine it's greater than this one so if we change to nine automatically it will change to critical it means that uh, 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 rec rec requisition needs to be done so that the spares would be re replenished so that's uh, what's meant by the, the status here and if we want to highlight it uh, go to uh, formatting condition let's say equal to then if the value is, is critical then fill it with red yeah, okay so it's now being red now if we're going to change this one to let's say five the critical value is five we will go back to okay so this one if uh, the value here is uh, here is uh, let's say eight we'll change the critical okay so let's go back here uh, what if uh, we haven't memorized the, the 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 part number here it's so hard to memorize the part number so uh, we can also create a drop down list here based on the uh, part numbers here so to create a drop down list first thing we're going to do is to uh, go here and then we'll rename this range let's say to number uh, let, uh, so this time here the, the this range is named as number so you're going to choose only two we don't see the name the, the, the number name here so this is now named this this range is named number so we'll go to the report then here on the parts number go to data and then data validation for the settings here click on list then for the list click on this one and then the inventory choose this one then that would be number then okay so we now have a drop down list here and then when we click on it we can ch choose from the parts number so if we're going to select 50006 the values for the data for 5006 are returned to our report okay so that's it that's how we create VLOOKUP returning a text value if an argument is true which is this one critical and a drop down list which is this one thank you for watching